today we are going to discuss about loci of points and this is the second problem from the four bar mechanism this one is the four bar mechanism so welcome to my youtube channel mechanical engineering management so let's see the description of the problem o1 a b o2 so here you can see o1 a b o2 that is a four bar chain with the link O1, O2 as the fixed link. Driving crank OA is 30 mm. Driven crank O2B is also 30 mm. Connecting link AB is 90 mm. And the distance between O1 and O2 is 90 mm. Now here look at the important point. Two cranks are in opposite direction. So that you can understand automatically the crank must be in opposite direction to this center line. Draw the loci of the point P and R. Here this is a P and R. Or one complete revolution of the driving crank. So here driving crank is O1A. The point P is the midpoint of the connecting road AB. And the point R is 35 mm from A on BA extended. So here you can see BA is extended. So in this problem, our objective is to find the locus of the P point as well as locus of the point R. So first of all, draw the horizontal line. Mark the O1 and O2 because of that distance is given to you. Distance between O1 and O2 is 90 mm. Then draw one line which is 30 degree to this horizontal line and the length of this O1A is also given to you as 30 mm. Then draw the circle with O1 center, O1A as the radius. Now here also you can draw the circle because of the crank length is same. So here O2 B is also 30 mm. Now, with the help of the compass, you can draw the arc on this circle with center A and radius equal to A B and that is given to you. Connecting link A B is 90 mm. So, you can locate the B point, then join A B and O to B. So this is your initial position of the four bar mechanism. Then you know that P is the midpoint of the AB. So you can locate the P point. Then you can extend this length AB on this direction because of it is given to you. It is extended from A. And this distance is also given to you 35 mm from A. So 35 mm from A, so it is here. So I can locate the point R. And our objective is to draw the locus of the P point as well as locus of the point R. So up to here we have discussed. Now divide this circle into the 12 equal parts. Now with the help of the compass, you can locate the B1 point. Because of you know that A1, B1 is the connecting link. And the length of this connecting link is 90 mm. So set the radius of the compass as 90 mm. Take A1 as center. Draw the arc over here. So you will get the location of B1 point. Then join B1, A1. And extend it. And then you know that b1 a1 is 90 mm and extended portion is 35 mm so 90 plus 35 that means 125 so you can locate the point r1 over here now you can mark the midpoint of a1 b1 so you know that a1 b1 is equal to 90 mm so it will be a 45 mm similar way you can locate B2, join B2, A2 and so that you can locate R2 and B2 also. 
So now you have to repeat this step. Look at B3, join B3, A3. On the same line, look at R3 and P3. Similarly, look at B4 and you have to repeat this step. Next, look at B5. Repeat this step. Next, B6. Join B6, A6. On the same line, you can look at R6 and P6. Then look at B7. So that you can look at R7 and P7. Now look at B8 with the help of the compass. So that you can look at R8 and P8. Next B9. Then B10. Look at R10 and P10. Next. Last one. Look at B11 so that you can locate the R11 and P11. Now join all the points by the smooth curve in sequence. So you will get the first answer, locus of the point R. And at last you have to write down this is the locus of the point R and join all the points by the smooth curve in sequence and so that it will be your next answer so look at carefully how i can join all the points with the smooth curve so this is your second answer locus of the p point so in the examination this locus of the R point and locus of the P point should be the dark. The remaining work should be light. So if you want to see more engineering videos, then subscribe my YouTube channel and go to playlist. Thanks my dear friends. Press the like button to appreciate this video.